so this is really, of course, a story about our protecting ourselves, but I have to tell you, more importantly, it's about protecting others. We live together in society. We have to care about each other in society. We've got to figure out how to bring ourselves together in a, at a greater level of empathy and sympathy for people who obviously are different, including living with different states of health. We know that this pandemic has been going on for 19 months and we know that the answer to putting this pandemic in the rearview mirror is to be vaccinated. If you haven't been vaccinated, we have three very safe and effective vaccines. We have boosters available now. Please roll up your sleeve and protect yourself and those around you. Now and to Abby, who is sitting over here to my right, acting like nothing happened. She just had her shot. Two other youngsters who had their shots today, I just want to say to them, you're the stars of today. Uh, today, everyone is here because of you. And we hope we can get another 28 million or so of your colleagues who are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11 years of age to join you because that means that we will come another step closer in protecting all of America. And as a pediatrician, we've watched children suffer through the last 20 months in many different ways, through school disruption, through loss of parents, of grandparents, and through kids getting sick and ending up in the hospital. Then there are the school disruptions that come from viruses or from close contact. So when a child's ill, they have to stay home and miss more school on top of what's already been a disrupted academic year for them last year. The alternative to not vaccinating is not zero risk. The alternative to not vaccinating is the risk of COVID-19. The flip side is that we have to have these discussions and be comfortable with that uncertainty. But as pediatricians, we hope to help folks feel safe, feel comfortable with their choice, and know that this is the right choice moving forward.